you will see that it says Jack. Hello guys and welcome to AI Plus More and in this video I'll be showing you how you can create your own website using Canva. I know, it's surprising. Even I myself didn't know that this existed until a few days ago when I was just looking around and deciding to create my own website. I'm very much familiar and I'm sure that you are too with some other websites such as Wix or Weebly, but those are very old school. Who would have thought that something like Canva, something that we use for editing our layout, our graphics, our certificates, becomes something that you can create your own website in. But the only downside of this is that the website that you can make here on Canva will only be one page. Now let me show you how that works. First of all, let's just search here what we will want to design. Of course, we want to create a website. So let's just type in website. And as you can see, we are given the suggestions here, whether you want to create a design, a development, a new website. These are what are mostly searched when relating to these words, but we want to create a website. So we can just go to this one, but we don't want to start from scratch. That's very much a hassle. So we can just choose among the templates that are available here by Canva. Let's go to see all so we can see all the templates that are available in the website. And many of these templates are, as you can see, paid or pro. So we want to go for the ones that are free. And what you need to do is go here to all filters, click on it. And then we scroll down until we find something yeah, here, the price. We just click on the price because we are broke. But if you're rich, then go ahead and choose whatever you want. It will still be the same either way. All right, let's say we want to edit this one that has an animation. It looks very cool. It's very attracting. So let's just go ahead and click on customize this template. And now that we're here, this is the website that we will be editing. And if we scroll down, this are all the pages that we are going to be working with. Unfortunately, these aren't pages that are separate from each other, but rather just one page or like one landing zone or area that you can just scroll down and then you'll see all of this but either way it's very cool and i think it's very nice so what do we do here and you might be surprised why do we not have the navigation bar above the one that you click to see the different parts of the website well don't worry we will get to that later on in the video all right let's do some basics you want to edit some text so oh, that's pretty easy. You just need to double click on any of the text that are available in, in this page, even the smallest one, even the photos that are available in the template, you can just replace. Let's start first with it with the text. Let's say I want to put my name here. Hello, I am Kim. I'm just going to change this to Kim. And then you want to add some description on what I'm good at. <laughs> I'm good at making tutorial videos. <laughs> And nothing else. All right. Okay. After that, <laughs> that seems so sad. Anyways, after that, you may be wondering like, oh no, there's like this logo here. You want to change it. Well, you can always just delete it and upload something by going here on the upload. But of course you will have to create your own logo yourself. But let's say we're going to be so lazy. We just head over to elements. And hopefully we'll find something that is free. Let's type in the letter K. Let's say I want my logo to be letter K from my name. And here we have it. We have <laughs> we have something like a simple letter K here. Although there are much better ones that are available there. It's up to you. So let's say this is the logo that I want to work with. It's still there. Let me delete that too. Okay, so this is now the logo of my website. To make sure that this is really in the middle, you go to position over here. And let's click on center. All right. That looks wonderful, except for this one. <laughs> okay, after that, you say you want to replace this picture. I want to put my face here. So what this is, is our frames. These are frames that are, when the photo here is removed, the frame will remain. And let me show you what I mean. If I delete here, as you can see, the frame remains because that is how the templates work. But if you want a different kind of frame to add there, you can always go here still to elements and type in frame. Let's say you want a circle picture, circular picture. You just put it there and all you need to do is just to drag a picture into that frame and you don't have to worry about it not being circle. 
let's say I have a picture here of Jeff Bezos. Let's put Jeff Bezos here. I don't know why it's suddenly Jeff Bezos. About Jeff Bezos. So, what other questions you may have? Oh, this one here. This animation is also something that you can find here within the elements. You just have to be lucky to find something that actually moves. Let's get into the important part of this, which is where is the navigation bar? You've been asking that all this time. Probably. You can only see the navigation bar once you get to the final or like the final output of your website. When it's done, it'll be there. Let me show you what I mean. If we go here to publish website, we will see these options here. And you can have this option which mean, which says include navigation menu. Click on it and you should be given your navigation menu. If we try to go full screen to see a preview of our website, we should have the navigation menu after we have checked that. All right, it's kind of taking a bit. And as you can see, yep, we have our navigation menu here. And if we click, it should scroll us down <laughs> to Jeff Bezos page. But let's say you want to change the words that are said in these buttons. So what we need to do is very easy. You just have to go to the page, let's say the Jeff Bezos one again, and you go to add notes. And you'll see here, this is the title and the word that is shown in the button for the page. Let's say about Jeff Bezos. And once again, when we head over to our preview, you will see that it says Je about Jeff Bezos now. It's funny because it's about me and then suddenly it's Jeff Bezos. That's going to be confusing. <laughs> so if you're making your own website, I hope you don't do that. <laughs> I'm sure you won't. I trust it. So once you're done, you just head over here to publish website. And then what we need to do is to add a website URL. But you can have the option to use a custom domain. And we will be see all the other complicated options here. So... You can either have a free domain or you can buy a domain or use an existing domain. But since again, we're broke, we're not like Jeff Bezos, ironically, we just go with the free domain. We go to continue and then we just name our website. Let's say Kim Geek, something like that. Continue. <laughs> I'm going to regret this later on. <laughs> All right. So here we have a URL for what will appear when someone opens a website. Let's say introduction or just landing. And then the page description, what you want to call it, because this will appear later on in Google. And then the advanced settings here, you don't really need to change much about it. Um, unless this one, the search engine visibility, if you want to disable that, then you won't appear on Google search, which is not a smart thing to do. All right, that's it. That is how you can make your website. Oh wait, yeah, you need to click on publish. And now let's wait and we should be done. It's that simple. It, it's that simple, honestly. Now our website is live. Click on view website and here we are. Our very own website, one page website. But it's really amazing. You can present yourself easily just by using Canva. That's it. That is how you can create a website using Canva. As much as it surprised me, I hope it surprised you as well. Thanks for watching this video. Hello guys, once again, this is Kim and I would like to thank you all for watching this video. But don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more free tutorials for your everyday needs. And come on, once again, let me tell you, it's free, okay? So if you change your mind, you can always unsubscribe later on, but I would suggest not to do that. Please, 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 please.